Hello everybody, welcome to part 9 on how to build your own solar panel. Uh, today we'll be working on the frame here. So I went to a home improvement store at Lowe's, bought a 2x4x8 pressure treated uh, board here. And what I'm going to be doing is basically ripping this into sections. So one board should be plenty. And this board was under $3, I believe it was $2.44. So I will be ripping this one uh, an inch and a half wide by an inch and a half wide. And I'm going to spray the noise, put on my uh, safety equipment here, rip it with the cable saw, and start rolling again after I've uh, ripped this. Okay, as you can tell, I, I got two of these out of the, my 4x8 sheet, or board, excuse me, and uh, they are exactly one and a half inches and all, all the way around on both. And what I'm going to do now is cut a channel uh, in here to place the, the solar panel. So from each end, I am going to make a cut of 3 eighths inch on each side and five eighths of an inch deep. So I have the the arm here, <coughs> excuse me, the root fence on the uh, cable saw. I have it set at three eighths inch uh, from the blade here, and I have the blade set to uh, I believe that was yeah five eighths inch deep. So that's how uh, that's how deep I have the uh, the window wrap window seal, excuse me, for the solar panel. So, um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and make one cut along that way. I'm going to flip it over and make another cut that way. And when I uh, come back, you'll see uh, two lines in here, and that'll be the basis for, uh, like, my uh, trench going all the way down there. And then the solar panel will just fit inside there, and then we're going to cut them to length, and it all together. And once again, I'm going to spare the noise. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and start rolling again from there. Okay. So you can uh, see these lines here. They are uh, 3 eighths from the end there. And from that to that, uh, should be 3 quarter inch. Yeah, 3 quarter inch from side to side. Um, I did think of something. If you don't happen to have a table saw to make these channels, um, you could definitely uh, go old school on it, draw a couple lines, use a nice thick drill bit to go along, make your uh, drill holes there, and just buy a good pair of chisels, um, wood chisels. Just go ahead and chisel it out. It's definitely uh, one way to do it if you don't have a table saw. Or another way is... Um, you might be able to use a routing table. I actually don't have one, and I've never used one, so I'm not sure if that's a good option or not, but it, to me it sounds like it might work, but that's just off the top of my head. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and just use the blade here and just kind of eat away at the center so you can have a nice uh, channel on, on both of these. All right. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out my channels, and I just did that by adjusting the blade uh, each time. And, you know, I cut it on this side, flipped the board over, and cut it on that side, same thing. So now I have these uh, nice channels here, with a little bit of left over. So you would take your solar panel and just lay it nice inside there. See, it's uh, pretty snug, but not too tight. Where if it goes to flex, it'll uh, crack the glass or anything. And there is two reasons why I didn't actually um, film me doing this one. It, it took about 15 minutes for me to do both of these. So it was a little time consuming and it's uh, really loud. So what I'm going to do from here is go ahead and uh, cut these to length. I'll give you all the measurements and we'll go from there. Okay. So this is basically 
what your solar panel is going to look like, or what mine will look like anyway. And I'll give you some measurements. Uh, the back piece here, which we have two of those, is exactly 41 and 3 quarter inches long. And that just is sitting there like that. And now I'll show you the end here is 21 and 7 eighths inches long. And we have two of those. And then we have the center piece here, which is uh, channeled on both ends, so it fits nice and snug in there. And this piece, which is just one, it's a little smaller. This one is 19 inches long. So let's go ahead, stick it in the slot there, and put your ends. And then that sticks on there. And I'm going to drill a little spacer or a little slot on the back end, and I'll show you that for the wires before we go ahead and uh, attach this whole thing together. The wires are kind of crammed in there just so I could show you what it's going to look like. So uh, from this stage, I'm going to go ahead and get my little uh, L brackets I think I'm going to use on this one. And I also need to get uh, some little blocks, and I'm going to cap these ends, cap the ends off. Otherwise, you have a, a big gap in there right now. And another reason why I decided to put these on the end is this is going to be secured on my solar stand off of these, and maybe this, I'm not sure, but most definitely on the sides here. And in case one of these breaks, like a you know, bird flies into it or whatever, and I need to replace the glass, I'm just going to undo the ends here, and this will pop off, because they're going to be sitting right next to each other, and it'd be a lot easier just to uh, pop the end off or pop the other end off, slide up the panel, replace it, and just go ahead and stick it back in. So that was my uh, method for going on the end there. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get the old brackets and show you what that looks like. Okay, well, I changed my mind again, and I decided to turn the, the panel the other way and have the wires come out of the, the metal bracket here. Um, a couple things. One, it's going to save on the amount of wire that I'm going to use in the long run. Instead of running them all the way, I'll probably save a few feet anyway. And I can do a much better job of hiding the wires this way. So uh, the less you see, you know, the wires and stuff, the better. Um, unfortunately, I'm out of time in this video, so in part 10, I'm going to go ahead and draw out these holes and put it in and start attaching the frame with the, the brackets that I bought. Uh, so that is it for number 9, and as always, thank you for watching, take care, and God bless.